Hey guys, welcome to Straight Out of Compton's Kitchen. Hey, I have so much that I want to share with you. Um, I got a few things to make you laugh. I got a few things that might even make you cry. Um, you could be crying from laughter or crying because um, this pandemic is real. Um, but we choose to have peace in the midst of the pandemic. Amen. All right. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to say is the other thing that offers peace for me in the midst of the pandemic is something that I never used to do before. Before, I just get out of the bed, go straight to the bathroom, take care of myself, get dressed, get ready, <laughs> ready for work, um, and I'd be on my way pretty much for the most part. So now what I do, I get up and I make my bed. I didn't used to do that. Um, and I tell you when I didn't used to do it, my mother's voice, I'm 58. My mother's voice is still in here saying, now you know better than leaving the house without making your bed. But I have to talk back to that voice and say, listen, lady sweetie honey <laughs> they all have to say um i'm grown this is my house and it's okay if, you know i'm just gonna get back in the bed but no it does it makes such a difference for me during the pandemic especially to have the room nice and neat um the bed is made the pillows are fluffy all of that then I can proceed to the bathroom, do what I have to do, get dressed, put on the earrings. I don't know if y'all know about these earrings and this thing that I have with earrings. I mean, for, I don't know, maybe since I got my ears pierced. <laughs> I'll tell you, I will turn a car around if I discover I don't have any earrings on. Oh my God. I, it's like, I, what? I left the house and didn't have on any earrings, so I got to the point where I had emergency earrings in my car because y'all know I handle my business. So if I don't have my emergency earrings in the car, guess what? I am at somebody's beauty supply looking for earrings. And especially during this pandemic, I am not going to be caught without my earrings. I got to put my earrings on, y'all. And so the other thing I want to tell you, because I want to make you laugh before I say something that's kind of sad. <clears throat> okay, so I know you've been wondering, is that her hair? Did she cut her hair? Does she have a perm? Well, this is Vivica, okay? Vivica is a part of the quarantine hairdo. And uh, yes, I mean, Elisa, if you're listening, my hairstylist, baby girl and I know you know you might be doing here at home I don't know what you're doing right now but anyway mama ain't coming outside the only way I'm going out there is I need some essentials and I need some gas that is the only way I'm gonna do what Governor Newsom says and Mayor Garcetti he say put your mask on when you go out there but for the most part I'm, I'm at the house. I'm at the house. Okay? And it's not, I'm telling you, it's not because I have fear, but I'm trying to use wisdom. And a lot of people are starting to feel that wisdom is the wrong thing to be using or using it as an excuse. Well, I'm going to do what I feel in my spirit to do. When he says, Valerie, go on out there, you know, uh, go on and let Lisa do your hair. You know, when, when I feel that he's saying it, I'm moving. But no, I know his voice. And so the other thing I wanted to tell you about <laughs> is um, my friend's ex-husband went in for knee surgery on, um, I think it was Thursday. It might have been, been Wednesday. Okay, so he went in for surgery, knee surgery on Wednesday. Um, he's had many knee surgeries prior, but apparently, you know, they weren't successful. So he had another one on Wednesday. And do you know his heart rate continued to drop? They had to do a cold blue. Um, 
he was losing blood. The surgeons were like stunned. They did not know what was causing this. And he passed away and he was only 60. I think he was a couple of years older than us. And yeah, he passed away and I mean, my heart is broken. But at the same time, I know where he is because he's a Christian. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So he is with the Lord. At least that's what we believe. And um, we stand on that. And I just wanted to say to you, if you don't know him, I can introduce you to him. You know, my pastor says it's as easy as A, B, C. Admit that you're a sinner. We can't, oh, don't, please don't start that blowing again. We cannot live without our creator. And that's what many of us try to do. Been there, done that. It don't work. So admit that you're a sinner who needs a savior. B, believe that God sent him, his only begotten son, that you would have a right to the tree of life. Believe that he sent his son Jesus to shed his precious blood for you, for me and confess him as your Lord and your Savior. And that's it. He washes us clean, throws all of our sins into the sea of forgetfulness. That's his promise to us. And he writes our names down in the Lamb's Book of Life. So, hey, if you need to know more information, contact this sister. I have a relationship with him. And I just want to, I would love to share him with you and introduce you to him. But really, it's just that simple. You can do that in your, in the privacy of your own home. A, B, C. Admit, believe, and confess. All right, so we've got that out of the way. And we're praying for the Campbell family. We're praying for the Facebook family. We're praying that everybody stays encouraged. We're praying that everybody stays inspired. We're praying that everybody has peace in the midst of this pandemic. Okay, so now we're gonna do segments because I'm also playing around with some software, y'all. Um, the software is an editing tool for the videos. Now there they go. <laughs> Who is noisy here in 90220? Straight, in, straight out of Compton, it's noisy out here. Okay, they distract me when they make all these noises because I like to have peace. All right, so let me stop being silly. Let me get to the point. All right, so look at this beauty. Look at her. How am I going to do this? Can y'all see her? Let me just bring it down like that. Ain't she cute? Oh, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy another one. Uh, shout out to Venus and Bonita. Thank you for my ninja, but I think I'm gonna buy another one because I want one to just sit on my countertop and just look beautiful like this. Cause I'm gonna be using this one. So I, I think I'm gonna buy another one. We'll see how it holds up and everything. But if it starts to look kind of nasty and mm, no, I'll just put that one in the cabinet and I'll continue to use it. But this one, uh, the new one that I may be buying is going to be sitting up here on the counter. All right. All right. So let's move on. Here's my fries. I already got them chopped. Not chopped, but sliced. That's the word I'm looking for. I've got them sliced. So I'm going to put them in another bowl of one tablespoon of olive oil. And then I'm going to um, season those with some, you know what? Got that ready to go. Mm -hmm. And then this, Himalayan salt. This is better for us than the iodine, especially if you're seasoning your food for your children. Don't give them that iodine. See, this is why we get sick because of how we eat. And you know, just look into nutrition, Google it and find out if there's other alternatives. Like I said um, the other day with the popcorn, I use um, olive oil instead of butter. But see, I'm gonna put the butter on the, uh, sweet potato you see i'm gonna put the butter on the toast you know what i'm saying so 
just to kind of curve it a little bit or curb it. How do they say that? <laughs> oh my God. So uh, y'all keep living. When you get over 55, I would say, you start forgetting words. It's like, how was that word used? Like my dad likes to say, it should only take a couple of two or three minutes. What is coupla? Is that a couple of, or is there really a word called coupla? And then I wanted to tell you too, I put my hand on my hip. You probably wonder, why did she put her hand on her hip? I put my hand on my hip when I'm in the kitchen because see, I grew up with my mother cooking in the kitchen and she always had her hand on her hip. She always had her hand on her hip. And then I thought it was, well, I found out that it might be a little strange. I'm not really sure, but when I started working in the cafeteria at my elementary school, I must have been about 10 or 11, I guess. I can't really remember, but I worked in the cafeteria with the cafeteria ladies. And um, I don't remember how they chose me. It was just two students, me and somebody else. And um, I don't know how they chose us, but we were working in the cafeteria pretty much every day at lunchtime. I think, well, not maybe, maybe two or three days a week. I don't know. I can't really remember all of that. But um, my point is this. I found out that it was a little strange when one of the ladies told the other cafeteria lady, look at this one. She got her hand on her hip. And I'm like, me? Doesn't everybody put their hand on their hip when they're stirring and preparing? Am I the only one? <laughs> oh my God, that is the funniest thing. So anyway, I still do that. And every time I do it, I think about my mom and I think about those cafeteria ladies. Okay, is there anything else that I wanted to say? Because I tell you, I keep, yeah, I think that's it. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'll come back. I think I'll just come back after it's done. And if I need to do another video, I'll clip them together with the uh, software that I just got. So I got two new toys. I got the editing software. And I got the, uh, the ninja. All right, so I'll see you soon. Welcome back, straight out of Compton's kitchen. All right, guys, now I read the instructions. It says that I need to preheat. So I'm gonna do that now. Here's my potatoes, all mixed up with olive oil. I put a little bit of pepper and Himalayan salt, and of course, slap your mama, okay? <clears throat> I want to show you this beautiful basket. Bring it down. <clears throat> and I was thinking that this little lid here was for like dehydrating vegetables and uh, fruit and nuts, but um, it says that this is my crisper plate so I'm gonna put that back in there and that's gonna help make the fries crispy. It also says halfway through it, I might wanna pull the basket out and shake it up. So let's go ahead and put the potatoes in there. Just like that. Mm. Okay, it's all done. What? Do y'all see that? Oh, sister, I I put an onion in here because I'm also doing a hamburger. And I'm doing my hamburger with this spicy black bean patty. This is all uh, vegetables. Still getting my protein in there. That's letting me know that my patty is ready. Ooh, wait. So that's the only thing. I got to work on my onions, but honey, as they say, hunty child, that's okay. Boom. Ooh, we. that out. Do y'all see this? I can only imagine the taste. What? Okay. 
So I'm gonna um, come back with a photo of my hamburger with a spicy black bean patty, all vegetables and beans made to look just like a patty. My neighbor, Mr. Legrand, if you're listening, I don't think he's on Facebook, but anyway, you might hear me talking from next door. He went out and got this for me. This is um, vegan cheddar style cheese, and it's okay. But y'all know I had to use the Tillamook for today's hamburger. I can use this another time, but I'm just gonna go all the way, y'all. I'm gonna put some ketchup on my plate on the side. And um, Vern, give you a shout out, Mount Olive relish instead of pickles i have the relish i'm gonna put that on with my mayo and i always talk about the relish mount olive relish because mount olive is in north carolina with my one of my best friends my sister friend carol Vern. she calls me little Vern. i call her big Vern because you know back in the day when we worked together she would always ask me you know when you know what I mean, Burn? No, she would just say, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And I'd say, I know what you mean, Burn. Remember that commercial? So we just, ever since then, back in the 80s, ever since then, we've been calling each other Burn. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When I put that potato in my mouth, I burned the roof of my mouth, y'all. I should have let it cool. Oh, well. I'll, I'll be all right. So I'll post a picture of my hamburger and my french fries from my air fryer. Thank you, Venus. Thank you, Benita. I will talk to you guys soon. All right.